Interesting. Tinubu finally agreed to do this very quickly to retain his position as president after Peter Obi has been discovered the winner of the election from the original results submitted by INEC. <laughs> hey, waiting in plan to do. What does he plan to do? Why has he decided to do this very one very quickly now? Hmm? I thought he was proving Jagaban. You know, he was busy traveling here and there. Even while the court hearing is going on. They are calling me say, uh, yes, uh, I am busy going out to pick where my, my um, to pick people and uh, the members of my cabinet. I am going about to strengthen relationship with um, international countries, you know, seeking for partnerships, supports and all of that. <laughs> Something you need to wait. Yes. Now, if for example now. Peter Obi is finally declared the president of Nigeria, you know, and uh, you are now dismissed. What are you going to say? It means that all of those movements are waste. Money, strength, you know, and all of that. They are waste. <laughs> you understand? And that is just the truth. My people, uh, people know they like to hear the truth, especially when you decide to tell them the truth. Yeah, that is why I really appreciate uh, 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 what was his name? The former president of Nigeria, that's Umaru Musa Yadua's wife. Uh, when he called Tinubu's wife to order and told her the humble truth, he told her, look, my dear, I made a mistake. I would have called my husband to order when I knew that he is having this kind of sickness too. I would have told him, I would have advised him to withdraw. But selfishly, I allowed him to to what to go in for the position but look at me today mm -hmm. look at me today the woman is bitter she is bitter and she, she called Tunubu's wife to order to advise her who knows if she accepted the advice who knows who knows if she accepted it <laughs> my people story plenty story plenty where we go here before the swearing of Bola made to know. Not be smart to know. Alright, let's quickly uh, check and uh, on the content and be pretty sure of them all. This is morning news. The presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party PDP Abubakar Atiku and President elect Bola Tunubu have reached an agreement not to raise objections to the documents submitted by the Independent National Electoral Commission. INEC regarding the February 25th presidential election. However, they emphasize that the document must be certified as accurate representations of the original copies in compliance with the legal requirement for document admissibility. According to a reliable source, this decision was communicated to the five-man panel of justices of the presidential election petition court during the joint petition filed by Atiku and the PDP challenging the declaration of Tunubu as the winner of the contentious election. Chief Chris Uche San, the leader of Atiku's legal team, conveyed this decision to the court during Thursday's proceedings. In response, Wali Olanik Wekun San, who represented the president elect, along with other legal representatives, confirmed their agreement with Article stance of not objecting to the certified document from the electoral body. Olanik Bekun emphasized that both parties had jointly decided to allow the court to meticulously scrutinize the document in order to ensure a fair and impartial judgment. Latif Fagwemi San, the leader of the legal team representing the All Progressive Congress APC, also affirmed this position to the court. Fagwemi clarified that those and this decision were made to facilitate the smooth pre presentations of articles petition. Meanwhile, Abubakar Balarebe, 
Muhammad, the counsel for INEC, assured the court that the electoral body was fully prepared to promptly provide all the necessary documents. This commitment is aimed at ensuring a speedy and efficient hearing of all the petition challenging the result of presidential election. With this agreement in place, the stage is set for a thorough examination of the INEC documents during the ongoing proceeds. All right. My people, uh, more truths is still coming out. More truths are still coming out. Uh, the, tru the truth of this is that uh, it's possible to know who may be sworn in, but uh, it won't be long before he's exposed. Yes, it won't be long before it's exposed. And uh, it, might, it, may, it might likely not stay long in that very office because uh, because of the evidences that have been submitted against him. Why he may be sworn in is because, you know, they have already placed that stamp that the case can still be going on even while he's still acting and working as president of Nigeria. At least the country sh should have uh, a leader. You understand? Should have a leader. Why President Mobari quietly leaves office? You understand? Because he's already agitating that he wants to leave. He wants to leave. Even why Nigerians are still um, wishing and willing to allow him to stay in office till the right person is chosen. Okay, well, hello, my people. We are still on point. Uh, let's quickly get your opinion, your advice, and your idea on all of this. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.